Ladies and gentlemen, we have 10 minutes to post to tonight's live simulcast from Pompano Park in Florida. The $605,870 Certified Vacations Breeders' Crown Race. The field is leaving the paddock at Pompano. The temperature 69 degrees. The track is back. Developed by trainer Gene Regal, who also conditions Arts Place. Top local driver Wally Hennessy drives this horse for the first time tonight. 1A is Mantis. He was sold in September along with two-year-old Colt Pacer Awesome Man to Lou Gata for $750,000. Previously trained by Abe Stolzfus and Larry Rathbone, who trained last year's two-year-old champ till we meet again. One of the sports best, Mike Lachance, comes off a tremendous effort in the Breeders' Crown event earlier this month when he went over $400,000. Number two in his post parade is Sable Vision. Very consistent this year, picked up a check in 14 of 16 career starts. He's one of three sons of the top-pacing sire and no nukes in this race. Driver Ron Waples is one of the best in big money events and has six breeders' crowns to show for it. Number three, Tudor Scooter. Tudor Scooter set a world record at Louisville Downs this fall. He's two for two over Pompano's 5-8 Smile Oval and was very impressive last out. Bill Fay is at the controls and has had great success teaming with this Colt, first or second, in eight assignments. Number four is Stand and Deliver. Partly owned by one of Hot's men, John Ferguson. Big Towner Colt has won all five of his races this year in the land of Hockey Bruce, Canada. And Canadian Bill Gale won this event in 1986 with Sunset Warrior and is looking for similar success. Number five, Arts Place. The fastest two-year-old Colt Pacer on a 5-8 mile track this year and winning the Metro at Mohawk Raceway won two of the three richest races for two-year-olds this year, taking the Governor's Cup along with the Metro. The driver, John Campbell, who won just a couple of moments ago with Miss Easy, has now won a Breeders' Crown event in seven consecutive years. Number six, Die Laughing. Victory would make him the richest two-year-old of all time. He won the $1 million Woodrow Wilson from post five and has defeated rival Arts Place in two of three meetings this year. The driver is Richard Silverman, who is the youngest pilot ever to win a Breeders' Crown event. He was 21 and 86 when he won a victory with Masquerade. Number seven, Happy Family. This horse has been in a dry spell, not tasting victory since September 9th. The team of trainer Stu Ferlott and driver Doug Brown combined for consecutive crown victories with three-year-old Philly Pacer, Town Pro. Canada's top catch driver, Doug Brown, has won both of his Breeder Crown titles with the sensational Philly Town Pro. Number eight, Cam Best. This Colt has the most wins in the field with 12. His only off-the-board performance was indeed in the Woodrow Wilson, won by tonight's favorite, Guy Laughing. Ohio native Dave Rankin is now based in Florida and has won over 2,200 career races. Number nine, Stormin' Jesse. This storm-damaged colt faces a tough task tonight since only one horse in Breeders' Crown victory has won from the second tier, and that's where he is. Jim Moran will drive. He, too, started in the Buckeye State, but is now a perennial leader on the Maryland circuit. And completing our field of two-year-old colt pacers, number 10, Free Flow. He's a world traveler of sorts, having raced over 11 different tracks in 1990, but banking only 57,000 to show for his efforts, the lowest in the field. The driver is Mark O'Mara, known for his handling of youngsters, including the 1986 two-year-old champion, Jake Lobel. Die laughing, just two lengths shy of an undefeated season. Being held as a public's choice right now at four to five, the richest colt in tonight's field. So coming up next, the two-year-old colt pace. We'll set it up further in a moment. Crown finale for 1990, the two-year-old Colt Pace, and right now Arts Place is at eight to five and Die Laughing at four to five. But keep in mind, the favorite in this race has won only once, Camp Tastic in '87. Here's Stan Bergstein. The passage, the passage of time sometimes fades memories of greatness, but no one in this sport can forget the great horse known as Superbird. His name was Albatross, and he stands now at Hanover Shoe Farms in Pennsylvania. He won 59 of 71 races, was first, second, or third in 70 of them, and retired as the fastest and richest pacer ever in 1974. Six of the 11 horses here, including Die Laughing and Arts Place, are out of mares by Albatross. Superbird still flies highest of all. Bruce. The track and world record is in 53 and 2, set by Kentucky Spur in 1988. Here's Kurt Becker with the call of the race. No Nukes looks for his first ever Breeders' Crown winner here tonight with Die Laughing. Two-year-old pacers in behind. They're open, pacing from the outside, die laughing between pacers, there goes Arts Place, those two will battle for early command, out third, Tudor Scooter hunts cover for Sable Vision, now Arts Place has made the top, 
and Di laughing. No room behind him, finds himself parked. He's second, racing third, Tudor Scooter. Four, as they slip around the upper turn, Sable Vision. Five, Storm and Jesse. Six, Free Flow. Seven, Stand and Deliver. Eight, Man Peace. Nine, along the rail, as Silk East alone. Ten, Happy Family. Eleven, Cam Fast off the front quarter at 26. Two them and die laughing. Parked off a quarter at 26 and two. Now will find himself in trouble as they race toward the half. On the inside, Arts Place. Outside, die laughing. Tudor Scooter still covered. He's third. A distant four is Sable Vision. They're in the lower turn. Five is Storm and Jesse. Six on the inside. Free Flow. Racing seven Mantis. Eight stand and deliver. Racing nine along the rail. Silky Stallone. Ten is a race toward the backside. Happy Family. The half in 53. Two fifths. That panel of 27. Cam Fest can see the field. They're driving down the back stretch. And now Die Laughing will fight tiredness. He's third. Tudor Scooter is still there second. Parts place on top for John Campbell. Tudor Scooter waits to move. On the outside, pacing third. Die Laughing. Four is Sable Vision sneaking up along the rail. Five right behind him comes Storm and Jesse. Six man tease. Seven free flow. They're in the final turn. Racing eight happy family. Nine stand and deliver. Three quarters. One twenty three. The world record very much within reach. And Art Place is on top now by four lengths as Die Laughing fades to the field. Racing second, Tudor Scooter. And Art Place is a full in the stretch. They turn for home. Tudor Scooter a distant second. On the outside, Storm and Jesse third. An incredible performance. After carving a front quarter in 26 and 2, a half in 53 and 2, Art Place wins at 151, 150. There is the world record. There is the fastest two-year-old pacer in the history of the sport, the fastest two-year-old ever, and he does it on a 5.8. A brilliant performance, 151 and 1, and your race winner is Art's Place, who won the Governor's Cup, won the Metro, did not race in the Woodrow Wilson this year. Ten wins coming into the race, now over a million dollars for the season, and John Campbell has back-to-back -back Breeders' Crown winners. I've got to tell you, Bruce, in 10 years here at Pompano Park, one of the most, probably the most impressive performance I have ever seen over this 5-8 smile. Arts Place took command at the beginning and left no doubts in anybody's mind, including Tudor Scooter and Die Laughing, who was certainly the best tonight, the fastest mile ever at Pompano Harness Track. And as you can see, they're coming to the wire. And Arts Place and John Campbell opening up by some 10 lanes here, demolishing this field in the two-year-old Colton Gelding pace. A splendid performance. The two-year-old Colt, son of Alba Abercrombie, out of the Albatross mare, Miss Elvira. Arts Place wins it impressively. In the photograph, number nine, Storm and Jesse was second. Number three, Tudor Scooter third. Number one was four. That is unofficial. Results are official. Prices will be posted momentarily. Five nine perfecta returns three hundred ninety six dollars sixty cents three ninety six sixty.
The 593 trifecta returns $2,581.80. $2,581.80. Cold. He's just a tremendous cold. He's, he's very easy to drive, and I, I'd like to take some credit. I can. You just point him in the right de direction, and he goes. What a decision to make. Top Philly, top Colt for next year. George Siegel, step in here very briefly. Uh, it's just an exciting night. Very exciting. I just want to say hi to everybody in Chicago. We did it. We knew we were going to do it, and we did it. And my partner and I both... Very happy night here for the owner's parts place. Let's go back to you, Bruce Beck. Thank you very much, John Pavlock. Arts Place, divisional winner.